If your Instagram feed is looking a little inconsistent, or you're tired of hunting down photos that kind of match your brand vibe, this video is for you. In this video, I'm sharing three powerful ways to create branded Instagram images using AI tools. So your posts are not only beautiful, but also totally on brand and click worthy. We'll be using Midjourney, ChatGPT 4.0, Gemini, and Canva's AI image generator with step-by-step -step instructions, examples, and the exact prompts and tools you'll need to get started. Let's make your feed look like it came from a pro design team without the pro level cost. talk about why branded Instagram content matters. Consistent brand aligned visuals build trust, attract the right audience, increase clicks and saves, and make your content instantly recognizable and in scroll. So whether you're a coach, a product seller, or a content creator, visual branding makes a huge difference. And thanks to AI, it's way easier than ever before. Okay, so step one was to create my pretend brand for this demonstration. Now the point of this is not to create fake product images or anything misleading. Instead, you're trying to make these scroll stopping images for Instagram that show off your brand aesthetic and help you tell the story of your brand. So I decided to go with a high-end fitness coach. Since there's no physical product here, I didn't need product photos. But if you do have a product-based business, you could absolutely mix these aesthetic AI images into your feed alongside your product images to add interest and depth to your brand story. That's what we're trying to create here. So first, I needed a color palette for my fitness coaching business. I went to coolers.co and just clicked through the random generation color palette until I found one that I liked. Then download your palette as an image. Keep it because you'll need this later. The next thing I do in my process is to find a reference image for the aesthetic or vibe of my brand. I pulled these images from Canva and created a kind of collage with them to get the full aesthetic I wanted. Save this image to your computer with your color palette. Now we move on to the fun part. Now let's dive into my favorite and most precise method, Midjourney, using custom style reference codes. What is a style reference code? It's a special reference link you can create in Midjourney that teaches the AI what the style of your images should look like. For example, do you want something hyper photorealistic or is your vibe more a watercolor painting? You can use these style reference codes from a library of codes that have already been created. Or what we'll be doing here is to create your own custom codes. Let's get started. We're going to create two style reference codes. One for your brand vibe, mood, setting, aesthetic and one for your exact brand colors. Here's how we do it. First, a little background on Midjourney if you've never used it before. It is a paid tool. You'll need to purchase a subscription and then access Midjourney through Discord. So you'll also need to create a free Discord account. It sounds more complicated than it is. Trust me, I was a bit intimidated using it at first, but before you know it, you'll have your platform set up and ready to go. Once you connect your account, your Midjourney Discord server is already linked to your Discord account. Now the best tip here is don't just jump right into the Midjourney server and start entering your prompts. Instead, you want to communicate with the Midjourney bot. 
not on the main server. Why? Because on the main server, everyone there can see what you're doing. So if you start a private chat with the bot, it's a little less public. Okay, so on to our prompts. Step one, create your brand vibe style reference code. Drop your brand vibes photo into the bot chat using the upload file link you see here. Now you'll see your brand vibe image in the chat. Next to it, if you hover in the right hand corner, you'll see three dots. Click there. Then in the drop down, you'll see a link called copy message link. Click that one. Now we're going to give this image link a code name so that we can reference it without having to save it. In the prompt box, type slash prefer option set. Here's where you'll type your code name. I'm going to call this brand vibes demo. You can call it whatever you want. Just don't forget your code name. Now press tab and click value. Here's where we paste in the image link that we copied earlier. Now hit enter. Then we do the same step with our brand color palette image. I'm going to call this one brand colors demo. Here's where we describe our image. You can use ChatGPT to get really detailed image prompts, which I'll show you how to do in the next section of this video. Now type in this text, but use your own codes that you just created. Then hit enter. And there you have it custom aesthetic images that look exactly like they were made for your brand. If you don't like the results, you can play with the order of your reference codes. Try vibes first, then color, or adjust the opposite way. Or you can adjust the weight of each style using the style weight command. You can see that here on the screen. You'll enter a number between zero and a thousand. By default, Midjourney weighs both of these images at 100 style weight and equal influence over the result. But let's say you want the brand colors to be three times as impactful in the result than the brand colors. Here's how you would write that. Keep in mind that style weights over 100 don't seem to make much of a difference. Here's the result with the higher weight on the brand color. You can play around with the style weights on your own until you get the result you want. Now let's move on to ChatGPT 4.0, which now includes image creation if you're using the pro version. Here's how you can use ChatGPT to generate brand aligned Instagram visuals. Step one. You are a brand designer. My business is a high-end fitness coaching business. The brand aesthetic is inspired by Scandinavian minimalism. I would like to give you two reference photos to help me generate captivating Instagram images for my brand. The first reference photo will be of my brand colors, which I would like you to incorporate into every photo. The second will be of an example of my brand vibe. Let me know when you're ready for these two reference photos. Step two, let GPT respond and then provide the image of your brand palette and the image for your brand vibe. Step three, give me three photorealistic image ideas for a captivating Instagram post about my high-end fitness coaching business. In two sentences or less, include a short description with the image style, type of camera lens, and the post-processing technique for the photo. This will give you an extremely detailed response. And here's the example result. Step four, using my reference images by capturing my brand aesthetic and using pops of my brand colors, please generate and then paste in one of the responses that it just gave you. You can take these prompts into ChatGPT's Dolly image creator if you prefer the photo quality for that GPT. But I personally didn't think the results were any better than the results I got from 4.0. Let me know in the comments if you tried this with Dolly. And here are the ChatGPT results. I did also try using the same prompts in the free version of Gemini to try to give you a free option 
but as much as I truly wanted this to work, Gemini just did not understand the assignment. I'll share the results here. Let me know if you've tried this with Gemini and gotten better results. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Finally, let's talk about Canva's AI image generator. You can generate images with the free version of Canva, but it takes tokens for each image. You'll only get a set number of tokens to play with. So you don't need to upgrade for more prompts, but I'm using the paid version here. So is Canva's AI perfect? No. In fact, the images from this test were really bad. But it's getting better and it's incredibly useful if you're already creating inside Canva. The biggest limitation is that it only allows one photo reference and very strict limitations on how the AI should use that reference in the generated image. You can't say, please use this just for the color palette. So when I did this first with just the color palette as the reference photo, here's what I got a very literal use of the color palette to create a woman sitting on a yoga mat. So I did cheat a little bit and started using one of the previous images from the mid journey result as the reference photo, just to see if I could generate a similar style. So here are the steps. Open Canva and go to the AI image generator. Upload your reference photo. In your prompt, write out the same description from ChatGPT and select your image style and square image dimensions for your classic Instagram post or whatever size post you'd like to make. I told it to match the style with a balanced use of the reference photo. And the results were, well, you can see for yourself. Truly, the ones I picked for the side-by-side -side are the best results and there's so much wrong. In this one, she's got a missing leg, and in the group fitness image, the woman has shoes for hands. So anyway, the cool part about generating your images in Canva is that you can edit the image right inside Canva when you're done. Layer in the text or drop it straight into your content calendar. So I probably could have gotten better images if I ran this prompt several more times and spent a lot of time asking it different variations. But the point of this video is to show you how to get consistent photos with your brand style and colors for Instagram, which honestly Canva just fell short on. Let's recap what we learned. Midjourney plus style reference codes equals the best for exact control over your brand vibe and color. It's the best quality and a bit of a learning curve, but totally worth it in my opinion. ChatGPT 4.0 was amazing for quick, intelligent prompts and content strategy. Great for idea generation and automation. Canva's AI image generator is okay for simplistic prompts, good if you're already using Canva, but may require more generation attempts. And Gemini was free, but not able to produce consistent brand style and colors. So here's my advice. Use Midjourney if you're building a super aesthetic styled feed. Use ChatGPT if you want quick ideas fast. And maybe use Canva when you're creating full designs and want a shortcut image to plug in. And there you have it, three powerful ways to create branded Instagram content that gets clicks, saves, and followers using nothing but a few smart AI tools. Let me know in the comments, which one are you trying first? Midjourney, ChatGPT, Canva? And if you want the exact prompts I used, you can find them in the video description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss my future tips for AI content creation tools and tricks. See you soon, and happy creating! Bye!